Welcome back everybody and thank you for joining me on another mini adventure. My name is Yuji and today we're going to continue playing a little bit more of Founder's Fortune. Now last time we managed to get three people in our little world, Leonardo, Ben, and Tony. It looks like they're all going to sleep right now. And we do have quarters for all of them. Nice little sleeping spots. Nothing too fancy. We got a place for them to eat and a bonfire, hopefully, to find out what's going to happen next. I'm hoping we can get some more people in there. But we do run the risk. Your colonist expectations are not met. We do run the risk. I think it's, I thought it was under that description piece. Maybe it's here. Yes, there we go. Bright fire that can be seen for miles attracts migrants and enemies. So we have to be careful of these guys here. They are sleeping right now. And there's one, two, three, four. There's not a whole lot of them, but I have no idea how the goblins get more people. Or more goblins, I should say. Uh, we have to be careful, though, because they might, they might attack us at some point. We do need to get some more stuff in here, though. We need to make everybody happier. So let's see, it reached level one as a miner. What are you at now? Ben, 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 Ben. There we go. You had enough XP to be promoted. Fantastic. How about you? Well, Leonardo does not. And neither does Tony. So that means that Ben has reached a satisfaction level of one. Mm -hmm. And nobody else has yet. So you could talk with Ben, theoretically. Where are you? Tony, and where's Ben? So Tony, you come over here and have a conversation with him. Leonardo, what would you like? You want a chair and a flower pot in your room. How about we make that happen then? Let's get you a chair and a flower pot. Lights, seating. Wood stump, tree stump, and tree stump stool. Well, we're going to have to keep this basic here. Don't have a lot going on. So. Is it always red? Yeah, I think it's always red. I don't think it tells me if it's anything else. Let's put this right here facing inwards and then you also need what was it is it under farming no wow floors doors windows pillars none of that is what i'm looking for right now decorations there we go all right now we need a flower pot in this room how about right here at the edge yep then Leonardo is satisfied, so we need Tony to be satisfied, yep. and then we can get another person in. A bad conversation? No! <laughs> Tony thinks Ben was full of himself. That is hilarious. Ben, you gotta be nicer. I wonder what Ben yep. thinks. A bad dream. Oh, interesting. I enjoyed... Wow. Ben's perception of that conversation was significantly different than Tony's. Tony was not happy. Yep. Mm -hmm. So Tony, where where is your room? This one is Leonardo's. This one's Tony's. Mm -hmm. And we need Tony to be happy. So, can we get a promotion on him first of all? Yes. There we go. So he gets more wood. He's going to gather 40% more wood out of cut trees, which is phenomenal, honestly. That will keep things going very nicely. I'm hoping to get to the point of farming soon, but that will need us to research. And I don't think I've gone through research yet. I have not. So farming is definitely going to be the first thing I seek for research. My next person may become a researcher. Oh, 10 minutes? Really? That is way too much. Yep. Okay. 
Ben, I'm switching you. You're going to get a different job. Let's change you over to a researcher. Scholar is the researcher, I believe. Yes, 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 yes. So he's going to go research at the little research table that we built a while ago. The book stand. That should get... So we take those crystals that he was mining, which I think we have plenty of. We've got ten. That should be enough. Analyze crystals on the book stand. He's going to sit there and research. And that'll get us... Five will get us up easily in the first one. Writing, gardening... Furniture, architecture, woodwork. I'll probably end up doing woodworking next. Get those first two out of the way. There's so much down the line. Towers. Oh, towers would be awesome. Grain processing. Advanced cooking. Forging. Strong watchtowers. Those are some really nice end goals to aim for. Decoration, masonry, ranged weapons. Ooh, weapons. Cooking would do nicely. Alchemy. Potion laboratory. Laboratory. Oh, there's so much in here. Soil for healing plants. Medicine cabinet. Wow. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I'm really excited to get to. We still have seven and a half minutes before we get to the next phase. Let's speed up. Does that speed up this? It does. That way we don't have to wait nearly as long. Okay, so we should have a decent amount of wood and stone. Yep. Healing plants, potions, medicines, cotton. We've got a lot of cotton. You know, we should start building for the next next person to join us one two three one two three one a two a three and doors floors oh we could do floors farming unlocked awesome wait shelf for food from the campfire campfire soil for tomatoes soil for potatoes Let's put this on regular speed here. How far are we out from getting our next person? Three and a half. Speed it up a little bit. Our next research. I'll select. Get that ready. Let's get this food section going. So I'm going to make a kitchen in here. So this is um, this mixture of shelf and basket is ideal to store food in that's been cooked on a campfire. So this is going to be our cook room. Our kitchen, basically. Nothing fancy. And we can do raw food in here. Where is campfire? This will give... Oh, wow, that's huge. It's way bigger than I thought. I think I need to expand this room. And then I can delete this, right? Yes, I can. There we go. Let's build. Campfire in here. We need that. That is critical. And then hopefully, hopefully our guys can start cooking food. Soil for tomatoes. Let's put in whole row of tomatoes out here. Let's do three rows. I want as much food as possible right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And that should work. Hello. Um, let's see. You can come and greet. How about we accept? Because the more we can get in, even if they have flaws, the better. We want to keep this colony 
growing strong. So last day of spring, and we need to select some research. Next step would be, uh, what do we want to go for? I think weapons are kind of something that we're going to need to defend ourselves with. So ranged weapons are the first one. Can we make tools in anything else? Architecture, furniture, gardening, writing, decoration, irrigation. Uh, I think we're going to need to go with the architecture. Yep, we're going to go with architecture because I'm going to aim for range weapons. I think it would be crucial to have range weapons. What are you doing? No job. Let's change that. Is this our... Yeah, this is Nate. Nathaniel. So he's our new guy. He can be... A doctor, craftsman. I think he should be a craftsman. But let's check what specializations he has. Allergic to tomatoes. And he's an insomniac. Trouble sleeping and doesn't rest as well as the others. Takes double the time to fully rest compared to others. Ouch. So the tomatoes thing, I can deal with. I can easily deal with the tomato issue. The insomnia thing, hmm. That's a little bit more of a problematic one. You need a home. Let's get you on the craftsman side. Can tailor, can make bows. At the next level, that's awesome. Craftsman, you need a bed first. Let's get you a bed, Nate. And once you have the bed, yep. what will you want next? You're gonna want yeah, food and satisfaction. Get a bedroom, you're gonna get that. Get tool maker workshop in the colony. We will also get that. So let's get back to playing on here. How about we construct this, bud? Come on, it's your own bed. I want to get that going. Walls. We'll want some more walls in here. I'm going to stick enough in here to make a workshop. It's going to be my goal. Let's make a workshop. So where do we get the pieces that we need for the workshop? Oh, I left the one open thinking that was a door spot. Foolish me. We'll stick that there anyways. We're right across from his room. It is perfect. It's his job. We've got farming stuff. We're good. Toolmaker's workshop. We're going to stick this right here, but he's kind of standing in our way. There we go. Decorations. We don't have anything else unlocked. Ooh. Incredible craftsmanship meets timeless design. You'll never see, you've never seen a barrel like it. Interesting. Nate is not happy. Um, you want to take ownership of this, bud? There we go. You are much happier. Now, job-wise, you still need carpeting, forging, and tailoring. Uh, carpet, carp, was it? Did I read that wrong? Carpenting, yeah. Let's see, we need floors then. You can put in floors for everybody that's 36 wood. Go for it. That'll get you a lot of XP, hopefully. We're doing all right on research. Our gardener is doing, or our farmer is doing his farming work. 
that he's cooking food to. Produce... Let's see... Keep in stock. Five. Let's keep in stock. Five baked potatoes. And keep in stock. Five tomatoes. Hopefully that will help. So we get our food supply in good order. Cooked food is better than the raw food, of course. There should be no surprise there. Let's make sure food is covered. Oh, the food. The food, food, food. Food. Are those peppers not growing? I guess I can't grab those. All the crystals and all the stones are good. Wood. Yeah, we're fine with that. Alright. I think we are good with what we have going on there. Are you... Really? It's somebody's room and they're trying to sit in there. Oh, I suppose you're eating food. I need more seating places so that you guys will eat. How about I put some seating in the kitchen? A bench. I feel like this would be good, but do I want it right there or... I like that spot. Right next to the door so they can walk in, grab their food, sit down, and they're not blocking our chef. I think our chef is Leonardo, right? Yep. Cook food. Tend to feuds and cook food. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You're gonna work on building, I guess? And then sleep. No? Okay. Anybody else yep. need a promotion? Forrester. You get a promotion. Ben gets a promotion. Leonardo and Nate do not yet. Forging, tailoring, I can't do those yet. But I suppose I should actually queue up some tools. Oh no. Tiki goblins have been sighted near our settlement. They are fast and do not seem to come in peace. Arm the colonists so they may defend their homes. Oh, that's not good. All right, I'm going to pause this here. We've got Nate. How about Nate is going to fight? And you, Leonardo, are going to fight as well. Yeah. And you're also going to fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Colonist fighting. So he's just slapping us right now because none of us have weapons. It's a slap fight. <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, you can't bandage it. Do we kill you? Do we leave you there? Ooh. A tough situation. I don't know what happens if we kill him or if we heal him. Can we make allies out of him? Oh, that would be interesting. I don't know what we can do with them. So we got a craft spot. A crafting tool work bench thingy workshop. We've got food being cooked, but our craftsman is not even crafting. No. He is working on all of this stuff, but that's not... Okay, the craftsman who's building is not getting XP out of it right now. I don't know if that's intentional or if that is just how things are. You're gonna rest. Alright, I'm gonna have him make tools. As soon as he gets some stamina back. 
I'm going to insomnia. It's going to take two points to remove. Ooh. As soon as I get two points on him, though, he's going to definitely have those removed. Yep. Yeah. Um, Leonardo. <laughs> Ben's got some weird minor pain, bad dream. That's not good. Uh, let your colonists sleep or give them healing potions to increase their health. So next time Ben goes back for sleep, he'll definitely get some health regenerated. Which is good. Very good. Because I am worried about him. So far we're not doing bad. Low spirits. How about you go eat then? Eat campfire food. Go eat. Fix your hunger. Hopefully that will help. And then I'm going to have you go sleep. Because you need to go rest. You need to start crafting tools. Don't want to have to be the one to bark orders, but you guys need to figure some of this out. Come on. I have more faith in you. You are eating food. Good. Uh, let's see. Where's your bed? Sleep here. Oh no. I guess I'm gonna have to kill him. Did that kill him? Ouch. We're gonna need a grave. Yep. Let's construct this. We need a place to put the body apparently. Ouch. Yeah, I would rather not have to kill everyone. If we could make friends, I'd prefer to make friends. Go ahead and bury him. A sad day. Something had to die. <laughs> Hauling him over is ridiculous. Okay. So I guess that's how... Is that the sun? Interesting. Oh, gotta love alpha games. There's some weird stuff that go that goes on. It's hilarious though. I find it humorous. How are we doing with Tony? He's got rewards. Fast learner. Why would I want to remove that? Or experience at battle? That's terrible to want to move. I could add a point though to something. I don't think I'm going to though. Not yet. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we good for you craft something or are you gaining XP right? oh you're gaining XP during the crafting yep. okay so he's finally actually gathering some XP for his specific profession I do not know if our other guys are doing well enough yep. but we should queue up some of the things that they are looking for so Nate yep. you were looking for flower in your room. So Nate's room is here. Let's get you a flower decoration. And I think I'm going to actually kind of line it up the same way. Eventually we might have to bump out the wall a little bit further. For now though we're not going to. Yeah. I'm hoping that this will work. Reach level one craftsman. Good luck with that. Mm -hmm. What did you make first? What are you going to make? Whatever tool he's going to make, I'm going to equip the appropriate... Oh, we got a watering can. Why was a watering can the first thing you made? Yep. Uh, not what I would have made first. I would have made an axe first. We need 
you as the gardener to equip this and then you can go you can go sleep go finish replenishing your stamina architecture simple wooden door wooden door wooden window ornament wooden pillar neat wooden floor a parquet clean wooden wall uh, clean wooden wall vertical and horizontal a natural wooden wall, an overlapping wooden wall. Hmm. Interesting. Can I actually make the doors now? Oh wow. That's pretty cool. Simple wooden doors. Uh, can we actually put doors in them, or are these just doorways? I feel like they're just doorways. Looks a little weird. Oh, there's a lot of design pieces I can make. Alright, let's, let's keep going one at a time now. One at a time. You want a table in your room, and you want to reach a level one farmer. Well, I can't help you with the farmer portion unless you're farming more often. But you want a table. Maybe I can fix that. Maybe, just maybe, I can do the table. Oh, okay. So that's going to take up four squares. Oh, this will take up one. Perfect. blocked by something. That has to be in the center for that to work. Oh, I wish that was just one spot. Maybe that'll work? Right next to the bed? Not exactly where I'd consider the ideal spot, but... You know, I'm not going to complain. The farmer is working on carpentry. You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm very confused as to how they decide what to do. Yep. Alright, so Leonardo though should be getting his table. Yep. Ben wants a table and a chair. And that's Ben's room, so let's give Ben a simple table, too. There we go. And Tony, what do you want? Tony, you want table as well. Well, I might as well make these all cookie cutter. Tony is in here, because our new guy, Nate, is down here. So by the process of elimination, that should be the right spot. Okay, not bad, not bad. I think I figured out most of what I'm trying to do. Farming. Let's go decoration. Who was it that wanted flowers? Is that Ben? No, it was Tony. And this is Tony's? Yes, this is Tony's. Let's get decorum. Some flowers. In Tony's room. So that should actually work pretty well. You I'm going to force to go construct. And I want to see if you actually get XP out of this. Because I would think that you would get XP out of this. Apparently not. Craftsmen are not builders. Craftsman, your settler produces all the goods that you order at one of your workshops. Okay, so you actually are not counted as a craftsman for, or you don't get XP towards being a craftsman from building stuff. It, It's only at workshops. That seems weird to me. I feel like that would line up with a craftsman. 
Where are all the guys? One, two, three, four. Okay. And have you made an axe or a pickaxe yet? No, not yet. Tony, you are hungry. Yep. <laughs> yep. I can't promote anybody yet. And our farmer is actually working on... These were potatoes, right? Potatoes and tomatoes. We're out of apples. We have a decent amount of cooked food. Which is going to be better than just the raw food. Colonists need food to survive. Every type you gather is raw at first and can be cooked. Well, we are cooking. A colonist will take cooked food over raw food every time. Colonists get happy thoughts from eating cooked food. Well, that's good. What do we got for actual happiness? Well, you don't have anything when it comes to the food. Wish fulfilled. Ooh, nightmare. Ben had a nightmare. That's unfortunate. Yep. Do you get a... Where is the buff that you're supposed to get? You're supposed to have a buff from food. I guess it's not put in yet or implemented yet. Anyways, that's actually been a long run. We did quite a bit. Got another person in. We built up the rooms a little bit. You know, they're not the fanciest. But they're, they're at least better than what they were. I would like to get them better beds, though. Sleeping bags kind of stinks. We do have a kitchen now. And we have a workstation where we're crafting some tools. Oh, look at that. We have a tool out there. Who's our Nate? Nate, are you actually a craftsman? No, Tony. Tony is a forester. Forester. Come grab it. Oh, that's kind of a weird symbol for her, the craftsman. Mm -hmm. All right, so you now have a tool on you. And we can see the tool here. Damage of two with nothing for clothing, protection-wise. Yep. But you can see that Ben has regenerated quite a bit of his health already just by sleeping. It takes a little while, apparently. And potions could probably drastically speed that up. But we will do what we can for now. Actually, if we end up... Oh, they've already had another person come back. Darn. I was going to say, if we end up getting heavily outnumbered, we might have to go take them out. Be aggressors for once. Mm -hmm. Not usually my style. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to have you pick up this. Actually, no. I want you to unequip it. Because I want mm -hmm. Ben to come and equip it. Ben ends up over there picking up anyways, so it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Makes a lot of sense. Can you craft anything else? We'll have to wait till next time for that one. We've already run quite a bit longer than I was intending to, so thank you all for joining me. If you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below. For everybody who has liked, subbed, shared my content in the past, or commented, I Thank you greatly. It is very much appreciated. Hopefully, Founder's Fortune has been interesting to you. I'm still learning it all, so I probably am not doing the best at commentating. I admit that fully. I like to actually dig into all the new stuff. I should probably play games more before I start to actually record for it. But I hope you enjoyed it all the same. And as usual, I hope to see you all again next time. Bye!